Hey guys, this is Zanali and I am back with a new tutorial. This tutorial we will be discussing another problem regarding the forces on the plane. So guys, before that, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, do subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon to get the notification about the newly uploaded videos. So guys, the problem has been mentioned here. It consists of the two cylinders, A and B, which are connected by means of the rod having the negligible weight, which is inclined at an angle of 20 degree with that of the horizontal. We need to determine the value of this force F which is parallel to this inclined plane to maintain this system in this position only. So guys for solving such kind of the problem our first step is to draw the free body diagrams. The weight of the cylinder A has been given as 6 kN while the weight of the cylinder B has been given as 4 kN. I have mentioned the problem statement in the description box. So let us draw the free body diagram of the cylinder A and the cylinder B. So for the cylinder A, there will be the normal reaction from this surface. So we are drawing the normal reaction and naming it as RA, which would be inclined at an angle of 45 degree with that of the horizontal. We are dropping the perpendicular like this. This angle is 45 degree. So this angle would be definitely 45 degree only. And they are right angle. So this angle would be also 45 degree. And this is again a right angle. So this angle would be also 45 degree. So RA would be acting at an angle of 45 degree with that of the horizontal. There would be weight that is equals to 6 kN acting in the downward direction. And there would be the force present inside the rod. And we are considering the nature of the force inside the rod to be like this. So this is P which is inclined at an angle of 20 degree with that of the horizontal. We can determine it easily as the, it is forming an alternate pair. So the P is inclined at an angle of 20 degree with that of the horizontal. So we have drawn the free body diagram of the cylinder A. Now we are drawing the free body diagram of the cylinder B. So So the, at this point, at the contact point, there will be the normal reaction perpendicular to this surface. So we are naming it as RB. And it will be definitely inclined at an angle of 30 degree with that of the vertical. And 60 degree with that of the horizontal. Okay. Also there will be the force F. Which will be acting parallel to this plane. So it would be also inclined at an angle of 30 degree with that of the horizontal and there would be P which would be acting at an angle of 20 degree with that of the horizontal. This is the force inside the rod and that would be the weight of the 4 kN acting in the downward direction. Okay. So we have drawn the free body diagram of the cylinder B also. Now we will be simply applying the conditions of the equilibrium or Lamis principle depending upon the conditions. So for the cylinder A, there are three forces which are concurrent. So we can apply the Lamis principle. But before apl applying the Lamis principle, let us draw it in quadrant form. So it becomes much simpler. So there will be a force of 6 kN acting in the downward direction. P which would be acting at an angle of 20 degree with that of the horizontal and RA that would be acting at an angle of 45 degree with that of the horizontal. Okay. So now we will be applying the Lamis principle. So applying Lamis principle. So 6 divided by sine of angle between these two force. That is nothing but 115 degree. Which is equals to R A divided by sine of angle between these two force that is 110 degree which is equals to P divided by sine of angle between these two force that is nothing but 135 degree okay equating this with this and this with this we would be getting the value of R A as 6.22 kN and the value of P comes out to be 4.68 kN okay now we will be applying the conditions of the equilibrium for the cylinder B. 
here we won't be applying the lamis principle as there are more than three forces so we were applying the conditions of equilibrium but before that let us draw it in the quadrant form so there will be four kilonewton force acting in the downward direction f which will be inclined at an angle of 30 degree with that of the horizontal rb that would be inclined at an angle of 30 degree with that of the vertical and p that would be inclined at an angle of 20 degree with that of the horizontal so now we will be applying the conditions of the equilibrium so first of all we are applying the condition of equilibrium as sigma fx equals to 0 so we are getting f cos 30 plus rb sin of 30 that is nothing but equals to p cos of 20 okay value of p is known it is 4.68 putting it we should be getting 4.397 that is equals to root 3 f by 2 plus rb by 2 so we would be getting root 3 f plus rb that is equals to 8.79 so let us take it as equation number one similarly now applying another equilibrium condition that is sigma f y equals to zero so four plus p sine of 20 degree plus f into sine of 30 degree that is equals to r b into cos of 30 degree okay we know the value of p as 4.68 kilo newton putting the value of the p and uh, multiplying the denominator 2 on the right hand side we would be getting root 3 r minus f that is equals to 11.2 okay so let us take it as equation number 2 now we will be solving these two equations that is root 3 f plus r b that is equals to 8.79 and root 3 r minus f is equals to 11.2 so multiplying this with root 3 so 3 times r b 3 times r b minus root 3 f that is equals to 11.2 times root 3 so solving this we will be getting the value of r b as 7.04 kilo newton and the value of f comes out to be 10.07 kN ok so guys we have obtained the value of f as 10.07 kN which is required to hold the system in this given position and this f is to be applied parallel to this plane which is inclined at an angle of 30 degree with that of the horizontal so guys that's all from my side if you have any doubt do comment in the comment section and thank you guys for watching this video